Hey, hello friends. Welcome again to another session on gyms of geometry. And uh, today we are going to demonstrate a very important uh, and very famous and very popular uh, element in geometry, which is called Simpson's line. Now, in the previous few sessions, we saw what a pedal triangle is. If you remember, a pedal triangle is nothing but if you take a point uh, inside or outside circle and drop uh, the three altitudes or perpendiculars onto the three sides. For example, here D is a pedal point. Just in in this case, it's inside the triangle, and uh, the three perpendiculars have been dropped from D onto A B B C and C A of triangle A B C. So you can see this is one altitude O D E D F and D G are three altitudes. Uh, not altitude sorry uh, perpendiculars from point d to the three sides and uh, efg is called the pedal triangle right efg is called the pedal triangle we saw that and we had uh, various other uh, properties around pedal triangles that the third pedal triangle to a triangle is similar to the first triangle and things like that so you can always check those previous sessions but in this case, we are going to see what happens if point D is, uh, you know, shifted or let's say the location of point D changes with respect to the three sides of the triangle. And what type of pedal triangles do we get? So let's try and see that. So here I'm, I will now try to move the point D. So let me just put this in the middle of the screen. Yeah. And now I'm going to move the point D, guys. You can see now I'm changing the point D. So for various points, right, inside the triangle, you can see the shape and sizes of pedal triangle. Now, in one case, you would have noticed that if I move the point D in one particular direction, so here is what I'm doing. So one particular direction, and now after a point, the area starts getting decreased. Area of pedal triangle. Can you see now the point D has gone out of triangle ABC and the pedal triangle now is you know the area is getting decreased and it will be interesting to note that the moment point D reaches the circumcircle okay the area becomes zero isn't it the area becomes zero and that means EFG are now collinear and EFG are nothing but the foot of the perpendiculars dropped from D on the three sides and they are collinear in one case. What is the case? When point D lies on the circumcircle and this particular line EFG, dear friends, is called Simpson's line. So let me just change the position of D now. As D go out of the circumcircle, you see there is another pedal triangle which gets generated. So just to show you that it's not a you know function of the location of you know one particular point of location of D. You can see as I'm changing the positions of D, you're getting pedal triangles with different areas. But the moment I bring point D on the circle, you can see, you can see that the the three perpendicular foot or feet are collinear. Can you see that? So at any point, at any point on the circumcircle, if you take the a point and drop three perpendiculars, you will see the three feet of the perpendicular so dropped are collinear and that particular line joining the three feet of the perpendiculars dropped from the point d and point d happens to be where on the circumcircle so if you see and they, that particular line when you join the three perpendicular feet the line joining the three feet will be called simpson's line now we'll try to prove this uh, geometrically why Simpson's line exist and uh, how do we prove that you know uh, these three feet of the perpendiculars dropped from point D lying on a circumcircle of triangle are always collinear. So we'll see the proof in the next session.